మిత్రులారా బంధువులారా వెల్కమ్ టు సౌత్ ఏషియా మ్యాప్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ ప్రజెంటర్ డాక్టర్ జే రెడ్డి మిత్రునా టుడే వీఆర్ కంటిన్యూయింగ్ అవర్ అగ్రికల్చర్ సిరీస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ ద టైటిల్ ఆఫ్ టుడేస్ డిస్కషన్ ఈజ్ స్క్వేర్ మీటర్స్ పర్ క్యాపిటల్ how many square meters square meters means meter 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 all sides square how many square meters per capita of surface area or land area on the planet earth is available per capita per head of human being after this simple intuitive presentation you will get a very deeper inkling you can articulate these things in a very conversation and your perspective of understanding the human civilization planet earth will increase tremendously mitruna you are aware that this is our agriculture series the playlist and we are talking today about part 8 how many square meters per capita land area surface land area is available to human as of 2024 and the numbers will not change drastically maybe the next one decade or so these are the previous presentations and part 8 is the current presentation and these are the forthcoming ones and mitranam you can find all these at our education channel there are around about 60 or so playlists each of them have around about uh, uh, 5 to 15 or so presentations uniquely made for your intellectual so zone and enjoyment all you can find them at south asia maps jrd there are 552 as of 2024 coming back to the current topic of interest this is our education channel logo south asia maps this is the farming agriculture logo there is around about 18000 or 18500 square meters per capita surface land available on the planet earth today per human being how we come to this conclusion i have made it very simple intuitive for you mitrona this is the only habitable planet earth in the entire universe here you see the two figures 150 360 remember the number of days in a year round about 360 that is the water body oceans hindu mahasagar ganga sagar bay of bengal pacific sagar and atlantic ocean and all those areas 360 land area including the antarctica is around about 150 these are all million square kilometers 100 years person can live 50 years more 150 very intuitive that is the land area so you have one kilometer kilo means thousand one kilometer means i have made it here thousand again thousand this is the meter kilometer there are six zeros so there are six zeros in a square kilometers very easy one square kilometer is equal to 100 hectares that means one hectare means four zeros why you should remember it this is very important in all agriculture related issues this is a very important concept you have to understand i made it very simple one square kilometer you travel kilometer 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 one square kilometer is a six zeros one followed by six that is square meters one kilometer also has a hundred hectares that means each hectare has four zeros one followed by four zeros six zeros for kilometer square kilometer four zeros for hectare so here you see the planet earth 150 same here i have put that means you take we have 150 million square kilometers of the surface area on the planet earth very simple here 150 150 remember 
150 add two zeros, you get hectares. 150 zero zero million hectares. This is the million million hectares. This is square kilometers square hecta hectares. And instead of hectares, you want to convert into square meters, you add four zeros here. That means 150 two zeros again four zeros. Currently, 2024, we have around about 8,100 million people or 8.1 billion people or roughly you can say 8 billion people. You won't go wrong. If you divide this figure by 8,100, you get around about 18,000. Remember, this is the 81 here. You reverse that 18, 18,000. That means if you divide, distribute the humans uniformly on the planet Earth, each person will get round about 18,000 or so, 18,518. So we are just making simple square kilometers, square meters. This square meter, you get a square root. Square root of 18,000 is 136 meters. That means 136 meters. That means you make 136 meters, 136 meters, 130, 136. That is the surface area, land area per capita human being gets. 130 on all four sides, 136, this is in meters. And what is this 9000? Remember previously I have talked about adjusted population density. That means essentially I have taken out very low productivity land, uninhabitable land, too hot or too cold for humans to live. Ecologically, they are called the lands having terrains, habitats with low CCP, low carrying capacity. They cannot support the human load that much. I will show you that in detail here. The same like before, but so how they are Antarctica 14, these are remember million square kilometers. Antarctica, Arctic Canada, Siberia, Amazonia, Saharan Desert, Australia, much of Australia except the coastal areas, Greenland. If you are add all of them here I put 60 but even you can extend to 75 150 is the being the land area half of it is the more product where people live more most people live that's what it is so that means we are using adjusted figure here that's what it is the same thing so instead of taking 150 that is the real one actual one I have taken 75 million kilometers, square kilometers. That means add it to multiplied into hectares, add two zeros. So 20, 75 two zeros is million hectares of the surface land on the planet Earth. Remember, we talked about hectare has four zeros. We add four zeros here. These are all million, these are all hectares. Now it is a square meters, right? Divide by 8100 or 8000, you get around about 9000, exactly half of it because we have taken away half of the area. That's what it is. Whether you take the actual, whether you take the adjusted, it's up to you, but you have to know the exact difference between those two. So I have put these things very intuitively for you. That means I have taken the adjusted one here. That means there is around about 9,000 9, square meters of land can be given for each person adjusted. If you take the square root of that, you get 96 meters. That means if you take a 96, if you draw a border, 96 meters, 96 meters, 96 meters, 96 meters. That's what it is per head a human being will get on the planet today as of round about 2024. So what is the take home message of this one? There is round about 
18,000 square meters of per capita land, surface land, land area you get per person. Half of that, that means around about 9,000 square meters per capita of adjusted surface area, sands, the deserts, mountains and all those area you get per human. Mitranam, if you want to understand this, I have other series called game series. You look in the play, playlist called geographic areas made easy. There are 15 or so, 20 or so. If you understand them, you can comprehend any country, any province in major countries, how much surface area it has. I made those things very easy for you. If you take the time and interest, you can learn them. Very simple here. Egypt is 1 million square kilometers. All million square kilometers. 30 times of Egypt is Africa. Three countries are four units. Political, geopolitical entities and the, the Canada, United States, most of the European Union, China. All have 10 units. Million square kilometers surface area. Give little bit this side, that side, does not matter. Take away the water bodies, lakes. So we are just making that general. India has 3.2. Australia, Polynesia, round about 8. Brazil is also round about 8. Double that is South America and so on. Greenland is round about 2.4. And Soviet Union is 17, same as sorry, Russia is 17, same as South America. So these things you can get very intuitive. That's what the story again. Remember, this is the planet Earth. 360 water bodies units, 150 is the land area. Among which 75 is adjusted, all million square kilometers. So, one square kilometer is a six zeros, that is square meters. One square, kilo, one square kilometer also has 100 hectares. That means one hectare has one followed by four zeros square meters. So if you divide this 150 million hectares by 8 billion people, you will get around about 18,000 or so square meter per capita. If you take the adjusted area, that is 75, divide by 8.1 billion, you will get around about 9,000 or so square meters per capita of human being. So, I hope Mitrona that will give you a, a broader area about the topic we are discussing that is, there is round about 18,000 square meters of surface area per capita per human being on the earth today. How we come to this conclusion is very easy. I have explained you. If you stop this video and go over these figures carefully, those things will become very intuitive for you. Thank you Mitronam joining me today and this is the same. I will also expand here so that you can get a better idea. And thank you for joining me today. This is your presenter, Dr. Jerry. See you in the next similar topic that is square kilometers per capita, but the arable land, farming land on the earth, that is the cropland. That is very, very important.